Prince Charles has officially opened Scotland's largest offshore wind farm off the coast of Caithness. The Beatrice development is capable of generating enough electricity to power 450,000 homes. Our environment correspondent Kevin Keane reports. A grey day in the North Sea off Wick, but a big moment for these 84 giant turbines, now the biggest single source of renewable power. This is fantastic. This is the culmination of 10, 10 years of work from the project's inception through to, through, through to it being fully operational. Uh, the construction period alone took, took three years. It's a £2.5 billion investment. Everybody who's worked on the project is immensely proud to have delivered it both on time and within budget. The name Beatrice really symbolises the energy transition that's happening at the moment. The name was first attached to an oil field which is over there in the mist and the platforms that exploit that oil are in the process of being decommissioned. Instead, the name is now attached to this giant wind farm. Today, a royal visit at the refurbished warehouses designed by Thomas Telford, which make up the wind farm's offices. Around 90 workers are now based here, and the project has created a £20 million fund for the local community, <laughs> alongside vast amounts of electricity. It's helping already today in delivering a low carbon Scotland, but it does give us a signal as to this is achievable goal of tackling climate change. This is maybe pie in the sky 20 years ago, it's not pie in the sky now, it's actually happening. And we can have projects like this successfully delivering globally and showing the world how we can actually tackle climate change. But the real focus is here, around eight miles offshore, and this is just the beginning of development for the wider Murray Firth area. We've got Murray East, which is a 950 megawatt site, which is a huge site, and then also Murray West coming through, slightly earlier stage in the process. But these three projects combined will make the Murray Firth a green energy powerhouse right here in Scotland. The weather might be grim, but for this rapidly growing sector, the future is certainly getting brighter. Kevin Keane reporting Scotland, WIC.